Hello, welcome to Alternative Future of the World. I definitely didn't copy this idea from a disc pro. And yeah, like, Dad got this idea for him. If you want to search him up, that is how his name is spelled. I'll give you a few more seconds. Okay, you're probably sub to him now. And please sub to me because I need it. Anyway, guess what's going to happen first? Alright, by the way, the, the year and this is going to start off as 2023. Because it's modern day. But guess what's going to happen first? Yeah, so it's going to start off with the Russia-Ukraine war. And it look, probably looks something like that. Yeah, but NATO still exists in this, so yeah, Ukraine completely pushes the com I mean Russia out. I definitely wasn't going to say the communists, and then they, and then they make their own their own invasion into Russland. Yeah, and and it goes really well. And then Russia's like, wait a minute, this isn't the future of the world, this is an alternative future of the world. And guess what happens? That doesn't happen, that wasn't supposed to happen. But that happens, Russia gets their land back. And then they're like, you can't do nothing, and Ukraine's like, no, no, this is alternative future. And then Ukraine's taken... Yeah, so Ukraine is no more. And now Russia's making the second Russian Empire. That's just what I'm going to call it. And Belarus is like, like, I will become part of Russia. And then I forgot about Kaliningrad. Sorry. You know, I don't have to say sorry because I'm English, not Canadian. That joke was horrible. I'm ne I'm never going to speak again. Never mind. I am going to speak again then. Yeah. So yeah. Uh. All right. And yeah. There's leaked plans to invade Moldova. So but that's what Russia does. Yeah. It doesn't go as plan. Yeah, it doesn't go as planned for Moldova. Even though Moldova wasn't the one invading the island of Russia. Yeah, so they made a new Russian Empire. Yeah. And then, you know, I think I might do alliances. So the alliances look something like this. I only did five alliances because there's a lot of alliances. So the dark blue is NATO. Okay, so yeah. And, and then the red is CSTO. And then purple is like an alliance between the UK, USA and Australia. Green is the Arab League. And then orange is the Rio Pact. And the UK is a scholar because it's a member of both NATO and the alliance of the UK, Australia and US. And then USA is part of this that alliance too and then also NATO and it's part of Re the Rio Pact. Hey, Kwanzaa did... Uh, wait, Rio Pact. No, not Kwanzaa Dingo. Anyway. So, yeah. And since it's an alternative future, Mongolia's really weak, so Russia declares war on them. You need to calm down, Russia. Yeah, so since Mongolia is like really, really weak, Russia will push into them with ease. Because because despite the size, they've got like 3 million people and them, the most scarcely populated 
country on Earth. Yep. And also, if fun fact, if Earth was as scarcely populated or densely populated as Mongolia, they'd have less people than the United States. So basically, Russia just annexes Mongolia. It looks like a second Russian Empire. Finland. So yeah. So NATO is actually going to get some more members. First of all, they're getting Bosnia and Kosovo, and they all and they and they also. They're going to get Liechtenstein in Austria, but not Switzerland. Yeah, so Bosnia and Kosovo join, and so there's Austria and Liechtenstein? Yeah, Liechtenstein. Cause I don't think Liechtenstein was already in NATO. Could be wrong, though. Yeah and yeah and then they decide to declare war on Serbia. But that doesn't go very well for Serbia. But because I don't even think it's in CSTI. So yeah. And also, and also some of the countries in Arab League are going to make other countries become Arab. Like Mali, Niger and the, the, the Chads. So, so now three alliances have expanded. So now China. The hell is that? That made me jump. China declares war on Taiwan. Yep, China is not very smart. And North Korea is like, hmm. <laughs> Don't know why North Korea would make that noise, but North Korea would join China's team because of being chilling. And then joining Taiwan's team is South Korea, Japan, the Philippines, and then also the United States. I don't really know if India would join, but if they did, then Pakistan would probably join too, but on the other team. And then China's like, oh, pfft. I can't say the actual words, I made a fart noise. Yes, basically, China will probably take like occupy Taiwan for a bit and then South Korea will probably make a small landing into China with the help of Japan and also push into North Korea which they do successfully until China stops them but then America arrives yeah and it doesn't go very well for these guys, but it goes well for these guys. Yeah, so North Korea's just gone in now. 
And Taiwan's taken back. And then they invade more into China. Making a massive encirclement. And they're really close to Beijing now. And then that and then eventually they take over Beijing. Which leads to Ch and China's also lost all of their clothes, so they just surrender. Peace treaty time. So the peace treaty is the USA gets a little island here. And then Taiwan gets all this land back. And then South Korea takes all of North Korea and quite a big chunk of China. And in Japan's like, what about me? What the hell is going on downstairs? All right, feeling like I'm my family just weird. Yeah. So. So also that, and since uh, Little Island became part of America, uh, it is now going. It is now going to be in NATO. And then to end of this video, so finally, there is going to be the East African Federation, I think it's called. Which includes hands and which includes... Like, yes, that includes Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, Serbia, Rwanda, South Sudan and the DRC. So it spans across two different oceans. I think this one's like the Pacific or something. It's rather the Pacific or Atlantic and then Indian Ocean. So like I just said, that's the end of this video. Goodbye.